What's good everyone? Welcome back to Golf Vibes for another golf video. Today I'm actually doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be testing a tip that I saw over on the Golf Mates channel about how high handicappers should actually aim for the back of the green on approach shots. In theory, this is actually meant to lower your scores and your handicap. If you haven't seen the original video, uh, go check it out. It's a, it's a great video and shout out to, to golf mates, Liam and everyone over there doing a cracking job. Uh, got some great content. I really like the idea of this tip. As a high handicap golfer myself, I know that missed strikes do happen and you finish short when you miss strike it. So I'm going to put this to the test today. I'm going to be playing four holes at my local club and I'm going to be trying to aim for the back of the green on my approach shots. I'm intrigued to see if it works, to be honest. If it does, I might have to implement it into my game. If you enjoy this style of video, please hit that like button. And also, if you're not subscribed, please do consider it. It is an option. And I'm, I'm trying to get to 100 subs. Uh, so any support is greatly appreciated. Um, and I heard if you subscribe to the channel that you'll actually never free putt again. Don't take my word for it to subscribe. Let's get into the video. So my third shot, I actually hit a really good five iron there. Got a bit further down than I was expecting. This is a par five, so get this up and down for birdie. <laughs> Straight out of Shanksville, fucking Tennessee, that. Happy with that one. Good shot. Right, it's still about 240 away. I could hit a three wood, but I feel like that could be a touch too long. So I'm going to play it safe. I know I'm meant to be clubbing up here, but I'm going to take a four iron. Semi shank fucking hosler. This is where my ball has ended up somewhere. Not where you want to be at all. Hopefully I can find it though. But I had a little look, I can't find it. Um, I mean, that stuff is just absolutely awful. It's gonna be my fourth shot now. I've got a lob wedge. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try land this one about 10 foot short. Hopefully it will get the relief. Right, take two, this is my fifth shot. I think that's a quad. Third hole of the video. Um, haven't really been able to put the tip to the test, to be honest. My game's been atrocious. Um, but this is a good opportunity. It's a par three. Okay, so it's only 138 yards, but it does play uphill, um, 145, and it's into the wind as well. So usually my club on here is an eight. But I'm going to stick to the theory and I'm going to hit a seven. Aim for the back of the green because short is dead on this hole anyway. Yeah, I'm going to hit a seven iron. Let's, let's give it a go. That one was dancing. 
That's a good shot. It is close. Check this out. Two foot for the bird. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay guys, last hole of the day. Half four. Just over 380 yards, so let's see if we can make a par, come on. Come on. That should be good. Yeah, better strike that one. Okay, pretty nice drive. Managed to keep myself up on the flat bit. Nice look into this bag. So we've got 147. Uh, it's playing it's downhill touch, so about 145. Back into the breeze though. And that pin is right on the front. I'm gonna hit seven on. Yo guys, just thought I'd jump in quickly, uh, just editing the video and my outro has corrupted that I filmed out on the course. So I just wanted to jump in, just basically round up the video. Um, I actually really enjoy this tip, even though I didn't truly make the most out of it or, you know, get myself on the green as much as I would like. I definitely think there is some benefits to this theory of aiming at the back of the green. My game was just all over the place yesterday. But the one time I actually hit a good iron, I nearly made a hole in one and we made a birdie. So if that's anything to go off, I think there's definitely positives. Um, I think I just need to work on my strike a little bit more, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's the end of the video. So if you enjoyed it, smash the like button. If you're not subscribed, smash the subscribe button as well. We're trying to get to 100 subs and any help is definitely appreciated. Um, also, leave me a comment. Let me know, should I do more of these videos? Should I test some more tips for for high handicap golfers or should I just <laughs> work on my golf games? I definitely need it after yesterday. But um, yeah, thanks guys. Just wanted to jump in. Peace.